Hey, everybody. <sighs> Holy retrograde. I wanted to talk just a little bit about retrograde. I wanted to talk about coming out of the broom closet to some of my family members. And I wanted to share some left mail that I got. I'm super excited. Um, so let's start with retrograde. It's day two. I am a Virgo. My birthday is September 20th. And um, let me tell you, today was a little easier. Today was a little easier because I came prepared. No joke, y'all. Rocks in my bra. Like, no joke. I've got <laughs> rocks in my bra. I've got like armor in a whole nother way up here in these girls. Um, it has driven me to drink, so I am drinking a beer tonight with my dinner. I don't normally. Um, I usually have some wine, but I'm out of wine. Um, and instead of going straight to the, you know, hard stuff, um, which I'm trying not to do because it's not paleo and neither is this, but, you know, my dinner is, is tasty paleo here and I use a small bowl. It doesn't look small because I, you know, brought it up here, but look how small this bowl is. Um, small bowl to um, eat my food. We have a pork tenderloin here and um, some veggie medley. And this is not paleo, but this is much needed. Okay, so some Newcastle for me. Um, retrograde, Mercury in retrograde. I see lots of stuff on the internet that talks about how wonderful it is and what a great opportunity it is to do work and you know slow down. And it's like, yes, I agree if there wasn't so much damn stuff on my plate. Like, if you, <laughs> on a normal day, I am busier than the average Joe, okay? I just am. It's the way I'm wired. I get a lot of stuff done in a daytime and I just run circles around people. Um, but I accomplish a lot of shit in a small amount of time and it's just what I do. Um, I've been an admin assistant um, or a coordinator, however you want to call it, um, for over 20 years um, in one form or one field or another. Um, I will tell you, I run social media for my company. I am also in charge of all promo items, creating promo items, um, all of the um, company uploads for their intranet. Um, I am in charge of it's just a lot. I'm also in charge of um, corporate events. So I am a, a corporate event planner uh, as well as media or uh, marketing coordinator on top of social media manager slash promo items supervisor? I don't know. I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of stuff in, in a long time or in a little time. Um, so. I like accomplishing things. I'm one of those overachiever type people. So if I don't get stuff done, I feel, I start getting a little depressed. I was talking about this with my friend today. It's like I get, I get a little depressed. I get a little, you know, bogged down if I'm not accomplishing things. And it's probably because back in my, you know, teens and 20s, I was a total slacker. I was a total flake. Y'all would have just hated me. Um, I, I was an absolute idiot idiot but you gotta be dumb and stupid or you gotta be young and stupid to be what is it old and wise okay so there you go there's that little thing again so I had to go through that to get to here so that all being said my cohort office mate is out of town until Friday so I am left to do my very busy job and all of her job at the same time. And it's like people are, it, it has been non-stop. I tried, I'm like halfway finished with one project and three more pop up and then it's like shift that, do this now, run, 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 run. I mean, oh my word, I, it has driven me to drink. So I have literally put rocks up here in these girls because I needed some help. Um, I am not in an office environment where I can place them out on my desk. I've gotten called out on my bracelets before, which I thought was like kind of random. I'm like, really? But um, 
anywho, I keep a lot of stuff in my purse. It's very heavy. And I um, apparently have a great storage facility that I hadn't uh, used before. So <laughs> that's how I manage that. If retrograde is, Mercury in retrograde is going great for you, then awesome. I hope I survive. I know I will. I am, I, I am hopeful. I'm just tired. So on top of an already very busy schedule, I have full-time work and I just told you what work is like. Then I am a part-time college student. Then I am a wife to a handicapped pirate husband with one leg. And I have three kids, which two of them are not kids anymore, but one of them still lives here. Um, and, um, a teenager. So I've got two 20 year olds and a teenager and our t one 20 year old still lives here and is, you know, trying to find herself and doing stuff. And then the other 20 year old, he and his girlfriend are expecting a baby. So I'm about to be a grandmother on top of that. On top of that, I run a business on top of that <laughs> mom in the hospital and all that stuff. So it's been very busy. So I didn't, the reason I think I'm having such a hard time is that the week before this all started, I didn't, I wasn't able to properly prepare at all. Not one iota. I was not, every single minute was either responding to somebody uh, through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, responding to family, responding to stuff, responding to work, trying to do work and, you know, getting ready for school, getting ready for my school and getting ready for my kids' school. Um, holy crap, it's just a lot of stuff. So I am really excited for when things actually, you know, um, chill out. I'm bummed because I looked at the chart and found out that retrograde apparently continues on through my birthday. So September 20th, yay, not so much. Um, but I am digging in hopefully going to get some stuff taken care of this weekend. Um, mom is doing much better. So there's that. And, um, we will move on. We will move on to other things. So talking with my cousin, Sarah, my cousin, Sarah and I, um, are only six months apart. What's interesting is that I look like I could be her mom's kid. So my other two cousins look, like we we are you know siblings then sarah looks like she could be my dad's daughter it's kind of funny so she got the blue eyes and you know the light colored hair i got you know the dirt brown eyes and you know the brownish reddish hair so sarah and i had been close i came into the family um, my mother had, oh God, it's such a long story and you're probably going to be whatever. Okay. Long story short, I was estranged from my family. My mother had, uh, not told me, not let me get to know my father's side of the family while I was growing up. So I ended up finding my dad on 1-800-US search and came into the family when I was 26 and I already had my own daughter and family and all that other stuff. So I came into the family much later. Sarah was the first one that really, um, I'm going to say, Sarah, I think you attached yourself to me and we like hit it off. No joke. This, this chick, I mean, op embraced me with open arms. She and I used to be able to pull numbers, colors, shapes, um, things like that out of each other's brain. So we'd be on the phone and I'm like, what are you thinking of? What are you thinking of? Well, you know, then we could do this with each other. So we both have a type of gift. Sarah has been over the last year, um, learning about Reiki, um, with the support of our aunt. Um, Sarah's also the one that I don't know if I told you about how I found my matron goddesses and how I came across, um, this path here. Um, I was having a reading at Crystal Mystic and, uh, Crystal Mystic Edward is the one that you know, was telling me all this other stuff. And, um, also his wife, Francine was telling me all this stuff and it was surely falling in line with the exact same reading that Sarah was having in Memphis, you know, far away. And I didn't even know she was having it. 
So um, Sarah and I have been on the same page for a while. Um, I hadn't told Sarah that I had gone the path of witch because I thought that there might be some judgment there. Um, my grandmother was a light healer and I understand that uh, through an ancestry work on ancestry.com and also walking the path of my ancestors, um, our family name was also tied to witchcraft, um, which was probably one of the big reasons why uh, they disconnected from the Church of Christ in England and a group of the family members came to Virginia and settled here. Uh, I live in Texas, <laughs> in case you don't think I live in Virginia. Um, but, you know, trickled on down and, you know, that's how we sort of came over and the name got changed and changed and changed, you know, as modern times came, came to be. So witchcraft, um, I know that I've touched on this with uh, Tequila, the Lady Grave Dancer, um, in a video, but uh, witchcraft does run in my family. There's light healers and... Um, earth spiritualists and uh, those that follow the Indian, you know, Native American path um, and several others. And Katie just done jumped up on my altar. What the hell? This cat, look at this. Katie Fur. Katie Fur, what are you doing? <gasps> now she just leaped away the heck over there by the bed. Crazy cat. All right, and I just realized I showed you my dirty room. All right, hence why I stay in this corner. Anywho, anyway. So, I hadn't come out really to my family. So I had started this YouTube in February. I'm gonna say February. Started this channel in February. I had been walking this path and reading and reading and reading and reading and doing all kinds of studies um, since September. So I'm coming up on my year anniversary my birthday is my year anniversary of being an actual practicing witch. So I hadn't told anybody. Hadn't told anybody in my family. The only person I did tell was my father because he's like, why are you collecting so much stuff from the ranch? Why are you interested in this and this and this? And I'm like, oh, God, dang it. So I came out to him, and he was very supportive, and um, my stepmom was super supportive. Um, she is also another healer, herbalist, um, fancy, fancy pants. Um, she knows her stuff, and uh, also my aunt knows her stuff. So I really wanted to also, so anyhow, okay, so I came out to Sarah. Came out to Sarah and her girls, at, and her girl um, actually now is subscribed to me. And um, so shout out, yo, Kaylin, what's up? Um, I love you. I'm glad that you're following me. It's nice that you're watching. Um, that's another girl that knows her stuff. And we all are finding our path and realizing what our, um, what our, talents are and what our gifts are um, we all have it in some way shape or form my daughter totally has it my stepdaughter has it my stepdaughter is more interested than my than my 20 year old right now my 20 year old's just in her own head right now but uh oh yeah my daughters are witches but they haven't you know embraced their path yet or embraced their gifts yet and when it comes to be their time then they will do so um they know to come that I'm here if they have questions. There's lots of books around the house. It's not like I'm hiding it. So, um, yeah, they've got plenty, plenty of that. Where was I going with this? Okay, so, came out to Sarah. Sarah was like, yeah, you know, what are you doing? And, like, you're on YouTube. Um, so, I think I kind of tripped her out there. I wasn't expecting to. But I also, <sighs> we've got family, family members that wouldn't understand whatsoever. Not at all. Um, they walk a very Christian path. Um, I think I've explained some of this, but um, some of them are like holier than thou mean. Very, very, very judgmental. Um, and uh, Sunshine, I was talking to her about this, and she's like, you know what? I feel sorry for them. You should feel sorry for them instead of being angry. I still have some anger um, or some, I guess maybe some discontent, some not grudges, but uneasiness about it. Um, I don't like the fact that they can shove, or they feel that they can shove their beliefs down my throat, and I'm supposed to smile and take it as if that's, 
the end all to be all on the subject matter and I have to hide in the shadows you know from you know work and everything else because I'm not viewed as an equal my belief system apparently is just wrong even though my I believe based on my studies my belief system um, you know they took my belief system their traditions and things like that um, hello, Easter and Ostara, same thing. Um, Christ wasn't born in December, but, you know, there's all different kinds of things that had happened that the church took from paganism and turned it over into, um, you know, Catholicism or, um, you know, the, Christ the Christian uh, following because it was easier for the people at that time to follow because they weren't going to get people to follow them. You know, a bunch of pagans, they're like, no. Uh, you, 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 Jack. So, anyhow, we've got family members that are like that. And um, I've explained a little bit about my sister, I know. And um, there are some others. And I just don't feel comfortable opening up because um, the backlash is just not freaking worth it. Um, people tear you apart. They tear your... Um, it hurt your feelings, and I know that they're thinking that they're doing the right thing because they really feel that they are justified in what they're saying, but um, it's really hurtful. And I didn't want to open up to my family members because I thought they, more than anybody, know me. They know me more than anybody, and they may really pick me apart. They they may be the ones that be privately either judging or totally picking me apart. Well, I didn't give them credit. I opened up today to two aunts, um, my Aunt Michelle and my Aunt Pam. And I honestly didn't know what I was expecting. I was expecting some sort of like big feedback or, you know, response, but, um, there, there really wasn't a big one. Um, I thought it was either going to be like, yes, let's have a parade or it was going to be, what the hell are you thinking? You're in danger, child. You know, like Whoopi Goldberg coming to you like, girl, you in danger, you know, <laughs> that's what I thought was going to happen. Um, but it didn't. And my aunt Pam was like, so super like, not excited, but just supportive and calm and chill. And I'm like, well, I wasn't expecting this at all. And then um, my cousin Sarah reaches out to my our aunt Michelle, um, who also has done some work with this. And I never thought that, you know, Michelle kind of stays to herself. So I never thought that she even liked me. Um, so here here she is and I'm, I'm talking to her on Facebook just messenger and she's all supportive and sweet and kind and like let's get together and I'm like wow so I guess the moral of my story is here I am day two of retrograde where I thought that communication was going to be like oh like I was expecting the worst because that's what's happening for me at work and with electronical things it's not been so wonderful and here I had two, well, it, let's say four, because, you know, my, my cousin and her daughter as well, um, four people support me and treat me with such respect, or my belief system with such respect, um, and chose to love me no matter what, whether they agreed with me 100%, and um, not all of them do, not all of them do at all, um, but they love me. They love me. As long as I'm not hurting anybody or hurting myself, they love me and they're happy that I'm happy. Um, that's huge. Th that is huge. And I was fighting it and scared to death that um, something else was going to happen, and it didn't. Now, I'm not saying that everybody needs to come out full, full force, right? Um, I have a Facebook page that's reserved just for Ravenflower. Um, some of you guys know my name, some of you don't know my name. If you don't know my first name, it's Yvonne. I've shared that with you before, um, or at least through Lady Grave Dancer's page, so, hey. Um, but I don't feel comfortable sharing my last name, and I don't feel comfortable giving everybody my, um, my address, and I don't, you know, so I'm, I'm going to be getting a P.O. box here soon because I think that I need one. You know, it's getting to be that way. But 
I guess my moral of the story was, you know, wow, retrograde, and I thought that things were going to go, like, really bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, I can't open up to everybody, and I'm not choosing to open up to everybody. So my household knows what I am. My dad knows, and my, you know, my, my stepmom, um, Katie. Katie is meowing, meowing up a storm. Um, my dad, my stepmom. Um, my cousin, my, I've got a cousin, um, that's going to be helping me out with some really awesome items for my witchy shop, Ravenflower Designs. Um, please be watching for that. It's, it's a work in progress and it's going to take some time, but I did post something on my Facebook page about that. I also have an Aunt Dawn, um, who is actually a witch. Uh, we can talk pagan together and we can, we can talk about things like that. So, um... And then now I have got two other aunts, a cousin, and a little second cousin. Um, and that's <laughs> huge. It's a huge blessing. Um, so I wasn't expecting it. And I, I just I want to say that if you do have those people in your life that you do respect and you do want to open up to them about certain things and you feel like you can, I hope that it goes as well as it did for me. I, I can't guarantee you anything. I'm working out my own stuff. But that's how it happened for me today. And I just, in this year journey, here it was almost a year, and I didn't say anything to these people. Um, and now I feel foolish because I'm like, why didn't I just come out and say it? It was so lame of me. <sighs> but that's what that is. So... This video is already 21 minutes long, so I am going to wait for the love mail and do a second video on that. All right? You guys have a wonderful night. Day two, y'all. Day two. <laughs>